This is crazy. I think I've seen better days, huh? That's wow. This is so cool. And the, the crazy part for me is that like you always look at these like barn finds in freaking Nebraska or you know Wisconsin whatever, you know? And and I know Cali has them, but I just never come across them and so I I, I get excited about like the paint like there's a patina and all that. I don't do I don't mind. Look at the technically these are not even fender, they're frunk mirrors. All right, everyone, welcome back to the Motive Anatomy. So today, um, yeah, so I like driving around uh, my town. It's in Orange County, and um, I don't know, I just like driving through different alleys and things like that, and just um, where, where I'm at, there's a certain area where there's a whole bunch of, it's just a car community. Um, and I happened to come across this little corner with a whole bunch of bugs, and you know, it was it's crazy, because I didn't, I didn't expect to, you know, find this but man it's just the smell of it you know i think if you know you know um but so like i said I, i'm just driving i had coffee uh, with my stepdad this morning and so i dropped them off and i saw a couple um a couple fords you know buckets and they're all chopped up and they were driving around. I was like, well, maybe there's a car meet around here. So I just wanted to stop by and couldn't find any cars. But then I ended up, uh, I ended up just driving around. Um, and yeah, this is so cool, man. I love the eyelids. It's just to see this, um, this set of bugs. It's, man, it's crazy. This is really cool. Now, some are for sale, so I guess I'll I'll put their info in there. Um, I, obviously, I don't know any. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. I think I've seen better days, huh? That's wow. This is so cool, and the the crazy part for me is that. Like, you always look at these, like, barn finds in freaking Nebraska or, you know, Wisconsin, whatever, you know? And and I know Cali has them, but I just never come across them. And so, like, I, ex I get excited about, like, the paint, like, there's a patina and all that. I don't, dude, I don't mind. Look at the, technically, these are not even fender. They're frunk mirrors. That's so cool. So, I guess the plug. Um, that's the info. I don't think he would mind. Otherwise, he wouldn't have a for sale sign. But that's the info again. Be like, hey, I don't of an enemy. Send me here. <laughs> but, man, this is so cool. Look at the antenna, double post. I get excited about old cars. I don't care. I don't care what you say. See, even though a lot of people shave the rear fenders, I, I dig them. I, there's, I mean, I don't see Camrys with this style rear bumpers nowadays, you know? It just, it was something special about it. So this one's from Colorado, I believe. From 82, wow. This is nuts. And obviously the, the Ted lights, I don't know much about bugs, but I know the Ted lights, um, give it away that you know the the year so this one wouldn't be a 70 just because of the the, the rear tail lights these are the ones that people want the most i know that if i was ever to get one of them i would love um the 50s are just you know impossible to find um, um at a decent price so i'll probably want to get like a high 60s um but you know that looks like a bullet one not gonna lie <laughs> kind of scary Look at this, man. 
Look at that emblem. This is so cool, man. I just, so again, I guess Washburn's metal. Um, so look up Washburn's metal um, if you're interested. But yeah, this is. This is cool. That dash looks actually really nice. Look at that. And like I said, the smell of it is, you know, it's probably not the, the smell that people want to, if you're not into cars, you wouldn't understand. You probably think it smells gross, but I love the way it smells. Um, but yeah. I even like the different colored trunk. I don't mind it. It's just so cool, man. Wow. And then this one's for sale as well. Um, it gets the convertible. And I mean, one thing that I like doing is just looking at the different suspension setups from, you know, different vehicles. Cause obviously it's like the, the idea behind it. Um, that's what makes each car unique. Um, the, the, the people who, you know, engineer these vehicles is like who would have thought this car was gonna hit it off and I mean wow now from what I've been told you know bugs are one of the most simplistic cars you know they'll run forever I know in Mexico City the, they used them before a lot uh, for taxi they still do but not as much um, for taxis and things like that and just because they're they're great on on gas and you know, I grew up with my uncle with one of these, uh, these vans, and I know they're getting very, very expensive and, and, far, and hard to find. So, I mean, this is just nuts. It's so cool. So, and like I said, um, I'll kind of gonna go check out the other cars, but I don't want people getting upset at me. <laughs> Seems like no one's here, but man, this is just just cool to to be able to come across something like this. So these are the ones that are outside. I can't imagine um, the cars that are inside these garages. And now I'm not sure what I'm staring at. It looks pretty cool though. It looks like it has a uh, quite a bit of power under it. Um, if anybody in the comment section can enlighten me on what I'm looking at. It looks like a big body. Um, it's beautiful. And then these Jeeps. Wow. The shock's not connected, so probably not the safest car to drive around. It is cool. To think that at one point this was somebody's I mean, I'm sure it's still like their project and their love, you know, but at one point this was like their main attention, you know, and this is cool. And again, going back to the whole suspension setup, I mean, look at this one compared to, you know, a car just per se. The oil pan, I mean, it's awesome. And then if you like the low and slow, you know, you have this one. So cool. Nice little wheels. Long bed. This is cool. Wow. It's awesome.